a soft target on the global terror map. India has witnessed some of the worst terrorist attacks in the past two decades. A harsh reality that needs to be tackled with an iron fist. Beating modern day terrorism is a combination of technology and highly efficient security agencies. Technology is very, very least in terms of uh, the usage in all armed forces or even internal security forces. You talk about police forces, you talk, you talk about Naxalite problems, we hear about their attacks being happening and most of the times those attacks or the compromises of human lives happen because of uh, lack of technology or even the communication losses between the two parties and that's when the sabotage happens. That's where you actually need support. Addressing this need is a group of former IITians from Mumbai who got together to design an unmanned aerial device. Useful for anti-terrorism and counter-insurgency operations. We are particularly focusing on security forces, armed forces, internal security forces, police, uh, paramilitary forces. The biggest advantage, apart from uh, better operation, more informed uh, operation, the biggest advantage that we see the aircraft doing is be able to save lives. So our, our jawans, our people, when they're doing an operation, they're more informed about what they're against. So they're better prepared to take care of the situation rather than just going there uh, blindly and be taken uh, by surprise. The journey of Netra dates back to the time when the founding four were students at IIT Mumbai. Uh, we happened to participate in a competition called MAV 08, so which happened in Agra. And uh, during that competition alongside IIT, we happened to share the first position with MIT US. And uh, because our technology being developed in India and the uh, the very basic raw concept which we developed for that competition although could prove that yeah this technology could be taken to a far scale and we as our uh, technology ideators and initiators could be the pioneers in bringing this technology to live birth and uh, giving it actually the shape which we wanted to we started working on it uh, from then on Armed with rechargeable batteries and weighing about 1.5 kgs, Netra can fly for 30 minutes with a top speed of 25 kilometers per hour. Uh, the key technologies which comprise this uh, comprise of this product are the electronics which go into controlling the aircraft, the autopilot which is the brain of the aircraft, which is completely indigenously developed. Uh, it's supposed to be the smallest, uh, lightest uh, of the commercially available autopilots and it's completely in-house development and one of the only indigenous technologies available in India for flying small uh, aerial vehicles. When you talk about the specific configuration of the product Netra, it is popularly known as a quad rotor configuration, four rotors which is a very very uh, obvious visible fact of it. Uh, its essential role is like a helicopter. Uh, but unlike a helicopter, it controls its attitude, which is the uh, which is which orientation it is uh, maintaining, and the position, and the height, and the speed. Uh, not by just controlling one main rotor like in a helicopter, but by controlling four different rotors. Loaded with a range of special features, Netra is an all-rounder. Uh, the speciality about a hovering vehicle is its ability to vertically take off and land. So it can operate from very, very constrained areas. We have been able to operate it from top of a building. So you have a very small space available and you take off from top of a building, you do your operation and come back and land on that small terrace available to you. It's got modular cameras, it could either have uh, cameras suitable for daylight operations or thermal imaging cameras suitable for 
zero visibility conditions like night time and low visibility. We try to design the whole aircraft to be able to take care of any sort of climatic conditions that is available in the environment around us. So, uh, for example, one of the user requirements was for the equipment to operate from minus 20 to plus 50 degrees centigrade. A completely self-directed device, Netra gives a bird's eye view of the battlefield. From emergency response to rescue operations, post-disaster assessment to security at public rights, disaster management to coastline surveillance, its applications are endless. का जो उपयोग है ये मेनली सर्वेलेंस और रेकनेसेंस के लिए है जहाँ पे भी हमारे सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस इन्वॉल्व्ड है माउस प्रॉब्लम जो चल रही है इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी हो या बॉर्डर सिक्योरिटी हो दोनों में इसकी उपयोग कर किया जा सकती है एंड इसको एक बार हम भेजते हैं तो इसका लाइव वीडियो स्टोर करके बाद में एनालाइज कर सकते हैं कि वहाँ से जो लाइव वीडियो लाई है उसमें क्या क्या डिटेल है उसके ऊपर हम बाद में ये एनालिसिस कर सकते हैं फॉर द मेकर्स ऑफ नेत्रा इट वॉज थ्री इयर्स ऑफ हार्ड वर्क बिफोर द ड्रीम प्रोजेक्ट टर्न इन टू अ रियलिटी सो फार इवन दो वी हैव फेस समाउंट ऑफ स्लो डाउन इन द प्रोसेस एंड समाउंट ऑफ ट्रबल बिकॉज ऑफ द सो कॉल ब्यूरोक्रेसी But on the broader scale, we have uh, interacted with uh, very impressive uh, people in all uh, sorts of government institutions, which have helped us survive and be at the situation we are. And we have complete confidence in our uh, in, in our public institutions uh, that they'll be uh, evaluating technology and going ahead and taking decisions fairly to let. Uh, promising uh, entrepreneurs like our company uh, have a chance of making a difference in India. As the chopper-like contraption soars into the sky, the glee in the eyes of its innovators reflects a sense of accomplishment, an achievement that is truly amazing.